Hello everyone again, Super Mustache Pika here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest 3 Seas of Salvation. In the last video, we explored the cave south of the fairy village and required the dreamstone, returned it to the fairy queen, and got the wakey dust. Which we'll be able to use to reawaken the village of Norvik. And in today's video, that is what we're going to be doing and also preparing before we head to the Skyfell Tower to return to retrieve the crown for the King of Romeria and to bring justice to Robin Hood. So this is kind of a, I would say like a filler video. And as we make our way to Norvik to wake him up, as we can see, these enemies are really... They're pushovers now. I mean, I feel like I might be a little over leveled for this, but I just remember because I keep talking about from when I played this on the NES as a kid. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, Robin Hood. Sorry, I keep pronouncing it wrong. That fight was difficult because the enemies in the tower are not that strong you can fight them around Jorvik and also around here in Norvik and around Romeria and yeah it was like oh this is easy and then you would fight the ball fight him and his henchmen and just get decimated anyways we walk into the village and we use the wakey dust here and there's some you know it's yeah the puns are getting kind of silly but yes the wakey dust scatters across the village some good 16-bit graphics and capabilities there <laughs> and as we wait what it seems the village one by one the villagers awaken so now the vill yes everyone in the village is awake um I'm guessing it has been it had been several years since the spell since the village was put to sleep as we'll find out a little more information here. Uh, last time I was here, this woman was blocking this bag, and let's see if there's anything worth in here checking, and nothing. Empty. Damn. I was hope I'm still on that quest to find one more mini metal, and I'm hoping to get it soon. But as we talk to the old man who actually was awake the whole time, he can hear the village talking. He doesn't know who we are, but he thinks us. And, of course, this kid is going to go play with Grandpa. Yay. Yay. <laughs> but here also, if we go up here, well, after we talked about this, yeah, as you can see, it's in rack and ruin. The grass has grown wild and grown wild and unruly. He tells us about a tangle web. That basically is the item that you use, you can use against monsters. And it'll, it's basically the decelerate spell not worth getting right now because we're pretty fast than most of the monsters around here but as you see we're gonna buy this the cloak of evasion plus eight for lollipi it's only good for her and sadas it only increases sadas's defense by one i believe the lollipi gets eight also we have the wizard staff here i believe this casts the frizz spell the multi-targeting one but I believe we're going to be, let's see, we didn't, don't need, we're going to sell some items here, and I think we're going to pick up a Cloak of Evasion for Lollipi, and I don't think I have a Steel Bronzesword yet for Curlkin, so we're going to do that right now, sorry, I just dropped my, I just bumped the mic, so, but yes, I'm hoping everyone is enjoying this episode, the series, I am trying to do as much as I can. But right now, we're going to be, well, I'm going to organize things here. Mm. Oh, excuse me, I've been working a lot, so I haven't been getting much sleep, so please forgive the yawn. <laughs> but yes, we're going to get pick up the Cloak of Evasion. Yes, yeah, it's easy. It increases the life highs, but defense by 8, even though it increases the DOSs by 3. Um, this also potentially is supposed to, I believe it has a certain kind of effect where it increases your agility. I don't think it really does, but it makes it 
makes it so physical attacks are more difficult to hit. But I don't know if that actually is or anything. I never checked to see if it increases agility, but it definitely increases defense. And Lollipie is only level 13 and her defense is 80. That's insane right now. And as I said, once I'm able to get a certain item soon, I hope, I think in the next couple of episodes, I think after we retrieve the crown and we venture off away from Romeria onto where we need to go next, we I should be able to, I should have the item by then, and that'll make her a lot more powerful. I keep mentioning it every episode, but yeah, it's true. She does not have the personality I want yet, but she will soon. So we'll continue to explore Norvik here. We'll head upstairs. And we get a little bit of info here. If we go in here and talk to the soldier, he lets us know that he met a, many a great warrior, but no, no one like Ortega. And then, yes, we are the son of Ortega. Oh, your resemblance is uncanny. He was only in the room yesterday, so Ortega avoided the <laughs> events of Norvik the day before, the day prior to the village putting, being put to sleep. So, it's good to know that our father was not, his quest was not prevented. And we find out that Morty helped people in the village and rescued them and saved them. And this woman kind of has the hots for our dad. <laughs> Hope mom doesn't know. Creepy. But, yes. I... And then there's one more thing, because we couldn't access this, the old man's house because he was standing in front of the doorway. If he would move, are we going here? Alright, let's check this pot. And we get a seed of agility. I'll be using that later. Because I did do some research, and yeah, I'll talk about it here in a second after we check this treasure chest. And we get the boomerang. As If you remember earlier... When we we're on Alahan and we were checking, we stopped at the temple. And we get the here, we get another book. Probably sell that. The boomerang attacks hits all enemies in a battle, where the whip only hits a certain hits a group. Not the strongest weapon, but it'll be convenient when we get when we head toward to retrieving the crown. And the saddest tale ever. We're not going to use that. We're on death crate. Like I said, we're going to sell that. But no, we found out that our father, had been, Ortega, had been at this village. So, with that, we're going to head towards Romeria and prepare to head towards the tower, the Skyfell Tower, to bring justice to Robin Hood. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these correctly. I'm trying to go with the accent that they have for each village, so. Um, Raven Lunatics, these used to be a worrisome because they do attack twice per round. So four of them, that means that's eight attacks towards our party. That can be devastating, but fortunately, we have such... Our defenses should be decent, good enough that... It should be a problem. And they drop a treasure chest, and we receive another seed of agility, so awesome. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to be saving the seeds for post game because I did, as I was mentioning, um, if you use seeds during the main quest, if your characters are not maxed out level wise, uh, it does affect the base stat game growth. So that's why I'm holding on to the seeds. I mean, it would be great to use the seeds of agility and life for Sadas to get his speed up and his health and his max HP up so he's not going to get one shot at any time soon. But we're going to do that. All right, so we're going to leave the village of Korvik and we're going to head towards the Skyfell Tower. And once again, these scor Scornets, you know, they have the physical effects can paralyze you, but I've been, I think I've been fortunate in not getting hit with a lot of devastating multiple party members being hit with status ailments. I mean, like, we just went through that cave and we had the morphine mushrooms that could put us to sleep using their breath or physical attacks, and yeah. 
or the color scheme of the, the Bulma stiffs with sap and the Drax with using crack on us. But these months, but now we're facing as the putrefidos and scornets and stuff like that, so this should not be a problem. As you can see, we, we're barely taking any damage. We aren't doing, we aren't one-shotting yet, but I think if we level up a little more, we'll be able to. All right, so that was an easy defeat, easy battle. I may or may not in the future start cutting out some of these battles, but I feel like I want to keep them in for now because they're not lasting that long. And it gives me time to talk about stuff. <laughs> but anyways, um... Yeah, as you see there, just slightly west is the tower, so we're going to head there shortly. Uh, these butterflies. Yeah, and Dazzle, well, no big deal. I've noticed, like, a, the comparison in the NES version, you'd get Dazzled. It was a lot more devastating. In this version, the iOS Android version, not so much. Anyways, we're going to head into the to Skyfell Tower here. And in the next episode, we are going to climb the tower and confront Robin Hood. This has been Super Mustache Pika, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a good day. Hello, everyone, again, Super Mustache.